Hi, if you have coded your data and you want to learn how you can check reliability, for example, Chromebook Alpha reliability, you can simply check that using SPSS. So today, I'd like to show you how you can check at least Chromebook Alpha reliability of your instrument. I want to put up this tutorial because a lot of people have come up to claim that you have overall reliability or where uh, you have up to four variables or five variables in a particular study and you, in the paper someone will report that he or she uh, has an overall Chromebook alpha reliability of, for example, the person we just quote um, 0 0.75 for the whole reliability. And I'd like to tell you that that is wrong. So I want you to note that if you have four variables, for example, here in this particular case, I have four variables. You can see this is work placement, one to eight. That is one variable with eight items. I have self-efficacy, this one, to this. That is self-efficacy items one to six. One variable, that is variable two, self-efficacy. And I have self-esteem, one to five, okay? And then I have curiosity, one to five, which means items one to five to measure curiosity. Now, I need to check the reliability of each of these scales, okay? Scale one, scale two, three, and four. So there is nothing like overall reliability. You need to check every variable, every scale. You need to report the, the, the at least the Chromebook alpha value for each of the, to, you need to confirm that they are reliable, all right? So I'll go to analyze scale reliability. So I'll select the variables one after the other and check. So this is for work placement learning. So I'll put them into the box and then I'll select because I want to know each of them. I want to know the loadings for each of them. Then I will select scale if item deleted. Please note that you can use this particular function to know individual items that are causing your your scale not to be reliable, not to load up to 0 0.75 and above. I will check this, I'll click OK, and then it will load. So you can see that I have 0 0.89 Chromebus Alpha Reliability. This is for, for work placement learning scale, which has uh, these items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you can see that at least I have met this particular scale meets the um, reliability, Chromebook Alpha reliability coefficient because it's 0 0.89. Now, if I remove this particular item here, you can see it's loading. Uh, you can see that if I remove this item now, the reliability, the Chromebook Alpha reliability will increase to 0 0.925 if I want. Automatically, the entire scale has already achieved um, Chromebook Alpha, if, if that is actually what we want to achieve. However, if I want to improve this curve further, I will remove item number one. It means it's not loading pretty well. I will knock it out. So you can see the Chromebook Alpha reliability coefficient has moved to 0 0.925. Okay, so this is looking good. At least this is looking pretty good. Okay, so if you approximate this is, um, if you approximate this, this is 0 0.93. And then you can see this is 0 0.9. Even if I remove this item two, if I remove any of these items I removed, I've, I've, I've actually not achieved much. So, so this, I can now copy this and report this in my own study that the scale for, um, work placement learning achieved reliability of 0 0.93. Okay, so I shake the other ones. I will, I will simply highlight and then knock them out. 
then I'll go to self efficacy. I'll select, put it into the box. Remember that I've already checked item if deleted. So then I will check the alpha level. So this is 0 0.967. Oh, this, these are looking pretty good. So you can see the items are highly reliable here. From one to six, they are good. They are looking good. So I don't need to delete any item here. That the individual items are reliable on, on themselves. Okay, so it's not this is not a case of collective support now. This is the inst the, the instrument, the items here are okay, and then all of them put together gives you this uh Crobat alpha reliability uh value here 0 0.97. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So I will check the third um I'll check the third variable or scale, which is self-esteem. I will select, put it here, check. Wow, this is 0 0.97 and all of them are looking pretty good. Okay. And then I will select the last one. Which is curiosity. And this is 0 0.92. Um, if I want to improve this scale further, I will simply knock out this item curiosity number one, and then it will increase. Of course, in your research, you, 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 you will report that the particular item, that particular item that you removed, you need to report that you removed it because it didn't, uh, it, it, it didn't contribute to the reliability uh, coefficient of your of your study, okay? So it's it didn't load up to the required threshold, so that was why you knocked it out. So there is nothing wrong about you explaining that that particular item, um, you couldn't put it in the study, but you need to write it down in your study to explain to the readers uh, that particular item and why you, you, you couldn't uh, move on further with it. There is no law that states that you, you should not explain that in your study. That helps for uh, you know clarity uh, in your research work. So, so this is how you can check uh, reliability of your instrument, and then you can now confirm that yes. So you can see this. This if I had labeled each of these like item one, two. If I had labeled them like I did here, uh, you you can see the 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 reliability coefficient here, the individual reliability coefficients here. So so please note that there is nothing like an overall reliability where you have six variables or six measurement scales you simply come and quote one uh reliability uh, value there and say because uh, and say you found that all the scales in your study got a reliability value of 0 0.97 or 0 0.75 and then you say yes it is uh, yes this one this study can go on please note that that is not uh, that's not correct that's not true and so we must have to check the individual reliability coefficients uh, in our study thank you